ones in blue i will be reacting to a couple more people and today we are going to be reacting to my best friend my best friend kang daniel so the last time you guys see me react to daniel was i think when he came on antidote which is fun <laughs> i never reacted to upside down and i should have really uh, reacted to upside did i did i react I feel like I reacted to Upside Down with y'all. We're going to be watching Daniel's SOS. Because his new album. Forgot what his new album is called. His new album is called Realize. And it has Wasteland, SOS, Supernova, Lion, and Dreaming. And actually one of my favorite obsessions of a B-side of his right now is Wasteland. There's something about Wasteland that is just so. It's so magical. Let me back y'all up a bit. So I, it's been a month since SOS came out. You're probably thinking like, what the heck, Jay? Uh, first, I was supposed to, I was going to react to an SOS, but my friend Halo literally said, wait for me. <laughs> it's been a while now, and I'm pretty sure um, she's not going to really watch me. She keeps forgetting, and I'm tired of waiting because I'm running to listen to Daniel's song. So we're going to watch SOS today. If you guys are new and you don't know my relationship with Daniel, uh, Daniel was my number one pick when Produce Season 2 came out. Daniel was actually my first pick. Jihoon was my second. He was a center in first place with one on one. And now he's a solo artist and he also has his own entertainment called Connect, where he literally. That's what you do from G Friend um, is at now. And the famous group We the Boys makes his choreos and all the other stuff. They actually made ZB1's choreo, if you didn't know that. So. Daniel is literally one of my best. He's literally one of my favorite. Uh, one of my favorite soloists. I've been standing Daniel literally about the like same amount of time I've been standing Jihoon. Basically, like Daniel's like that person that you you want in your life to listen to music from him. Like you want Daniel in your life. So, oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> I got it working now. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He's shooting him? What the hell? There's, there, I don't know if they're dead or the skeletons or what. Is that uh what you call it? Um the witch doctor. You know the witch doctor? So cool. 
You guys, that was so cool. You guys, that was so freaking cool. First off, let me know in the comments how the speaker was because if y'all can hear very well from the speaker, I'm also checking when I edit. If the speaker is actually louder than my computer, when you guys hear it, then I'll do that. If not, I'll go back to the computer one. But like, <laughs> you guys, that was insane. And it's the fact that I already knew that it was gonna be so cool because Daniel, like, y'all remember my paranoia? <laughs> you remember my paranoia reaction? That was probably the funniest, craziest reaction I've done to Ken Daniel. And when I watched that, literally, my mind was just out. It was gone. So, the fact that I just watched SOS, <laughs> and I saw that, <laughs> that, the fact, everything is, like, Daniel was such, that I had to get, and see, this is why I also got to get Daniel so much with praise, because at a young age, he is a CEO of his own company. He is the CEO of Connect, and he's, he all, constantly always be making songs like he be making a bunch of songs and they're like just they're so unique and a lot of times daniel's songs are based off of you know um a lot of times he bases off of something that he like learned or see or his uh or like himself because like at the time of 2020 when i think that was daniel's hardest time he was going through so much, like so much mental stuff inside. That's when he came out with his two songs, Paranoia and Antidote. And you could literally feel in the song about how he felt by the lyrics in the song. Because you could tell by just going through the years how he, you know, started with his first song, um, What You Call, What You Call, What You Call? Oh, What You, What You Doing? I think it's like What You Doing or What You... What, what are you up to his debut song was called what are you up to and like from there all the way up to like who you are and you keep going and then you get the paranoia and it's like crazy like a drop of like how he felt inside with his anxiety his social being and like everything like that and then it's just kind of from there he was like okay and then upside down came out and you saw the last side of daniel game and i'm looking at sos i'm like it's not it's not sad but he's telling a story. And they're going to have to listen to SOS more to understand what's the meaning behind this song for him. So.
so I'm it's like when I go when I always watch Daniels it's kind of like I always try to figure out what each song has meaning you know paranoia was that I want to talk a lot about his pain of like how he felt from the past years and how he feels now and then antidote of course just from the name is kind of like you know paranoia is like everything that he was suffering facing with his depression and anxiety and all that stuff and then when he came out with antidote it was like okay he found a solution and he's telling us about how he's gonna fix it and then you know after that he came out with upside down he was good you know and so now i wonder like what is sos does he have more demons again or something like what's going on i gotta figure this out so that's like my little story with daniel of me trying to figure out what's going on with him but i hope you guys like today's reaction because i always enjoy when i watch ken daniel's music videos it's always a blast to me and i just have so much fun and i actually was just saying to myself before i started recording was like i realized that how much i enjoy doing reactions so much i know for the past i would say for the past almost month or so i haven't done as many reactions as i've been doing and stuff it's been kind of chaotic in my house because um we have people moving in my house and at the same time i'm going to be moving to my new room literally next month next like not even next month i would say like in two to three weeks you guys won't be seeing this room no more and i'll be in a brand new room and I guess it's just crazy because for the past like four, four, let's see, 2019, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24, like almost for the past five years, I've been in this room and I've made this room into something. And it's just crazy that I'm going to be moving to a new room. And a lot of time when I move into a room, I'm going to, I mean, I have room in here to do stuff, but then that I'll have so much stuff to do in there. Like it's going to be crazy to do a lot of things in my new room. And so it's just it's super exciting and because of that i can't react as much as i want to but because summer for well not summer for me but i'm almost done with my summer classes like next week i'll be done with summer classes so that means i can you know really focus on uh and i'll take my exam for my practice and stuff at the next week so after that i can really crack down because during the school year i feel like i i think during the school year is when i kind of have a lot of I would say a little bit free time more than the summertime only because the summer this summer kind of felt like I was in schooling and stuff because I did working and I had like a bunch of events and stuff to do so it just felt crazy but at the same time I want to do more reactions and I'm also going to be uploading some videos on my vlogs page so if you guys want to watch that you should check it out I am going to be uploading like um I'm going to be doing a whole video. If the video probably won't come out until September because it's probably going to take a while to edit until I finish kind of finished my room a bit. But I'm going to be making a whole video of moving from this room to the next room, so like a whole room transformation. And if you guys want to see that, you guys can go check out my vlog page that is down below. It's always down below. It's Jajung, but you guys can check it out in below. And I just super excited for that room and super excited for you know me to do more videos on this channel so i love you guys so much and i am going to go watch another react do another reaction so i will see you guys in the next one love you guys stan Kent daniel bye <laughs>